trouble inside Beating hearts don't lie An empty page, a story to write I'm in love, you're divine And it's all in our signs We're going away Get your back, check the tag Decision is made Lock your door, need no more It's already paid Cancel your mail for a while It's a journey to No Man's Land episode 10. You just saw a time lapse of me doing the harvest. Um, so yeah, got that done. I also uh, condensed the straw into better rows here. So we're gonna go ahead and get those bailed up here now. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys are all doing well. I'm doing well, I'm excited to be back on No Man's Land. I got a little bit more time to record. I think we might even be able to get three episodes out of No Man's Land this week, which is wild. So I'm excited about that. Um, can this get any bigger? I don't think it can. I think I check this, I literally, I think I check this every every single episode uh, that I use. Nope, is that, we own this stuff? We own one of those? Oh, I'm in the wrong. Oh dear, I know what's going on. I am on the wrong farm. I was like, we don't own one of those, <laughs> but that's why right there. <laughs> uh, here we go, that's our stuff. Uh, 112, okay, yeah, it's only one size. But to be fair, it does put more straw in a straw bale than other types. So, uh, but yeah, so we need to get the straw baled. Uh, we need to get it sold off. Hopefully there's a good price. Uh, we need to check on oat prices. I know the cereal factory is gonna buy it from us, um, but I wanna see, cause they said their offer is, I think it's 10% above um, the best price. So, whereas yes, that's great and all, but we wanna make sure we still get a good price and then have 10% above that as far as what we get. So I do need to check, um, I can probably pull it up right now, actually the Steam price page. Uh, let's see here. All right, we are on hard difficulty. So let me scroll down here. I also got a new mouse, by the way, and it works great for scrolling. Uh, so I'm very pumped about that. So straw prices, uh, we need 41 to 62. Uh, let me write this down. So straw, 41, 62. And then for oats, what are we looking at here? We're looking at um, 532 to 805. Okay, that is what we're looking at. Let me get back over here. We can hop out of that menu. Ooh, this baler needs some repairs as well. Might need to get... Massey Ferguson also needs a little bit more repair. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna take it into the shop again. Nope. And there we go. 
get that dumped off. But what are our prices currently looking at? And what do we get off the harvest? We got 14,000 liters off. Um, so when's the best time? December? We are not near that. We're in July right now, which July is at the bottom of the barrel, which makes sense. So the prices look horrific right now. So hopefully we get a better price somewhere as we go through here. Uh, if we go down to straw, straw is also horrific right now. It looks like December is the best time to sell straw. And the current prices are also terrible. Um, that's the, yeah, that's them buying it. Okay, yep, 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 yep. I always get these two just mixed up when there's two on here, but 35 is what they're buying it for. They're selling it for 10, which is a great deal for it. We could buy it and sell it for a profit, but we're not gonna do that. Um, I think that's a little cheaty. Now, if we need to buy bulk straw, I think honestly, I'd probably still even raise the price for us buying it. Um, why is my mouse all of a sudden acting weird? There we go. Oh, I must have adjusted the, I'm still getting used to it. I adjusted one of the buttons, I think, which, uh, let's go grab this little bit of straw here. Did you see there's also to that time lapse, there is a stump in the middle of our field. So actually it's another thing that I am thinking about doing is, um, there we go. I can adjust the speed of my mouse, but um, okay. So anything on sale that we really want? Not real, oh, that one on sale. That's probably, that, that's the one I sold. That's gotta be the one I sold. That's kind of funny that it goes in there. I like that. I feel like I've noticed that before, but um, that is pretty cool. Okay, forestry. 24 grand there's no flipping way we're spending that much on a stump grinder to keep holy smokes there's no way there's no way all right well i was thinking you know it wouldn't be bad because you know we're going to keep finding stumps everywhere to maybe hold on to one and have one at the farm which eventually we'll probably end up doing but we're, there's no we're spending twenty four thousand dollars right now on that that is way too much money for what we have going on and i know obviously us bailing our straw even if we do get you know fifty dollars per thousand liters we're looking at 250 bucks a bale so it's not much but it is something so at this point we can take we'll take everything we can get as far as all that goes um but yeah i think this episode hopefully we can sell our uh our oats off i do want to get our fields repurposed um we want to probably plant something else i would think we might actually do a round of sorghum just to do something a little bit different. I haven't done a lot of sorghum, so we might actually do some sorghum here or maybe some soybeans. Those are a couple options for us, but I think it'd be kind of fun to do sorghum. I'm not gonna worry about picking up all the straw per se. I'll get these two just because they happen to be in the right area, but I'll say I missed that one. But anyhow, uh, I'm not gonna worry about picking all of it up because I'm not, I'm not that bothered by not getting all of it because it's just straw, it's just extra cash. Uh, but yeah, so I just kind of wanted to bring these back in and kind of tell you what kind of our plans are. Um, what I do need to do is we need to get all of those uh, silage bales loaded up. We need to sell those at some point as well. So we need to check pricing for silage, which looking over at my sheet here, silage and hard is a 171 to 237. So we need to wait for that 171 to 237. I don't know what prices are for silage right now. Okay, they're not great. Show fluctuations. Also, December. It looks like we just need to wait to sell stuff till December. Oh, and we want to get sheep going potentially um, this episode. And the other thing, actually, I might do instead of getting sheep going right off the bat, I didn't. I forgot to download that uh, the cheaper pens that I wanted to look into getting. Um, another thing I want to get into is uh, bees. I think we need to start doing some bees. I know that for our contract, um, they need products to make cereal. We don't have to provide all the products. They're just mostly looking for the grain from us. But I might actually see if they might take some honey from us as well to kind of use some local honey. That way we, um, we can provide them with the honey and make a little bit off of the honey as well uh, from them. And bees would be kind of nice to do anyways. Um, so there is that. Whatever crop we could do is, is uh, canola actually, especially if you're doing bees. We'll mostly do the bees just to make honey profit, not to increase yields of fields. But um, still, and the other thing I want to do is maybe kind of organize the farm a little bit, maybe put in our field. I don't know. There's, there's all sorts of stuff that kind of... I have plans for this farm, but we'll kind of see what gets done. I'd like to put some kind of some dirt roads in so it doesn't just, it's not just a bunch of grass area everywhere, which I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but it will be nice to have it a little bit more organized. Um, as far as where to put the bees though, that's going to be tricky. There's that stupid stump I just hit. Just hit that stupid stump. We're going to have to hit this uh, row twice, I think. It's pretty thick. And we need to avoid that stupid stump. Yeah, we'll Trying to, yeah, we're gonna have to do this one twice, I think. Obviously, because I'm doing it this way, but I think, well, now we probably can hit most of it, but it is pretty wide in some areas. Uh, let's see if we can get that straw bale just out of the way a little bit. That's gonna be a lot of work to get these straw bales and everything, because obviously I don't have an auto load 
trailer or anything like that. We're just picking them up by hand and doing it all that way. So, yeah, but it's uh, it's extra money at this point. And then we need to start hopefully working on paying back our loans soon. Get this out of the way over here. There we go. Some of you guys hate the camera angle I use, and I apologize for that. We'll try to do a little bit better. That's just how I, I, I work with it, because it works better for me seeing what I need to do and everything like that. Jeez Louise, we are getting so much straw. I mean, that's good, though. I'll make it more worthwhile when we go to sell it. around here without flipping ourselves there we go and my wisdom teeth my mouth is still recovering so i still kind of sound like i have a little bit of a kind of sound like my mouth is kind of full or not working correctly but um that will go really <laughs> hopefully go away as as time progresses but as of right now it's just a little obnoxious so i apologize and thank you guys for bearing with me obviously i want to keep putting content out and keep uh, making videos because well this is kind of what i enjoy doing this is my hobby or my, my primary hobby, I would say, but, uh, yeah. And if you guys are new to the channel, uh, my full-time job is as a police officer. Uh, you may have guessed that from my title, Farmer Cop, but most people actually don't guess it, or at least not maybe not most people, but I get a lot of comments all the time still. With, are you a real police officer? Yes, I am a real police officer. I work in Washington State in the United States. I won't get any more specific as to my whereabouts, but I do work in the United States, and I work in Washington State more specifically. So, Yeah. I do enjoy my job quite a bit. I enjoy getting to go to work and serve my community and do all that good stuff. But uh, this is this is my hobby job, and I love doing this as well. And I would have never guessed that I would have a successful... If you would have asked me, shoot, three years ago even. I've almost been doing YouTube for almost two years now. If you had asked me three years ago, or told me three years ago, hey, you're going to have a YouTube channel that, I mean, as I'm recording this, has uh, over 68,000 subscribers, I would have told you you're crazy. But... <laughs> uh just wild just wild what a wild ride and thank you guys for coming along with me it's just been an absolute blast uh getting to know a lot of people from doing this from people all over the world people i would have uh, i would have never met otherwise which is honestly really cool and part of the magic of the whole thing so um yeah it's really cool fantastic but yeah i will get the straw bailed i will probably i mean i need to collect our we need to get some stuff maybe i'll just let's just get the straw done here i'll keep you guys in for this and then what we need to do is we need to get some honey set up, which honestly might be the, the main guys or the main focus of the, the videos to get the honey set up uh, because we need to get that set up somewhere. I'm not sure where I want to do it or even what hives we can afford. It'd be nice to get a couple of the big ones because then we can really get some production rolling, but um, I don't know if that's going to be um, our legitimate possibility. Let's dump that bale off out over there. Yeah, we'll just kind of have to see. I can't remember any of the prices of it. I haven't done a lot with bees, um, so this will be the first time I've done a lot with bees. And we'll probably only do them... Um, I mean, it just kind of depends. We can get... I don't have any issues as we progress getting an auto-load pallet to do some stuff. But uh, at the beginning, I want it to be work. Like, I want us to actually have to work for our money, move stuff, move pallets around. I mean, we have the big bag land handler, so it's not really a big deal to, to move pallets around, uh, to be fair. But... Um, I do want us to have to actually do some work, but later on we can make it easier for us as we've kind of hit that point. Because in every game, and this game will be the same way, you hit a point where you're like, okay, we're pretty much successful at this point. Money's coming in left and right, um, and there's no, yeah, it's not, it's less about struggling to survive. It's like, okay, money's just coming in now, so. But yeah, so we'll get that point eventually. Back this over there, get that kicked off that way doesn't quite do what I want it to do when I back up. These are some thick straw swaths, but that's okay. That is okay. I get most of this one. Oh, jeez, let's get out of the way here. Don't drop it in the middle. Last thing I want to do is drop it in my way. We'll just come back down to the bottom. We can start picking up this from the bottom again. Yeah, if we did get them in an area where they were kind of near a field, that'd be kind of nice because then we could get a little bit of a yield bonus from them. Um, so if we did like canola, for example, canola is one of the crops that bees give a yield bonus to, then that would be kind of a plus for us as well. But yeah, we'll kind of see what we can get done and what we can accomplish. I can get this whole stretch here. First, there we go. I keep driving too far forward. Get too carried away. Drop that there. Loop around. 
Almost done. Almost done getting all this bailed. We got actually a, a decent amount of bales from... I did not think we were going to get this many bales, I don't think. But... Yeah, we've got a significant number of bales, which is great. As far as making some extra income off of all of our straw here. This is, of course, going to fill a bale and have a little bit extra in there, but that'll be fine. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. All right. And that is the bailing done. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen here. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Maybe nineteen or twenty bales, probably. Somewhere around there. So that's not bad. Can't really complain about that. That's for darn sure. All right, if we just turn this guy off over here, go into the build menu. Ooh, for a second there, did not want to go in there. Um, so those are $20,000, holy cow. That's, what I mean, compared to one, I mean, that's a great deal for 33 hives, but $20,000, holy smokes. Um, we do have some cool, like, that's there's that guy, but we'll probably use, this is the four, eight. I kind of like that idea. That's six. Isn't that one? Yeah, it's, that's probably the one we'll end up using. Well, not one, we'll use the 12. The, yeah, we'll use this guy right here. Because that'll have them stack two on two on top of each other. So we'll probably use this, this pallet point here, which where do we want the pallets to spawn? Um, I have no idea. Um, to be fair, but uh, so we have all this space out here like this space would be great for bees because we're not going to use it for anything else I mean, I think that would be a good a good spot for bees to kind of go uh, But oh, good lord 20 grand for a hive That one's 12 for 10. I mean, I think we just Oh Gosh, we just think we just have to bite the bullet on it and get it get production going because we'll make some money off the honey What are honey prices with? Uh, Oh gosh, if I can find them on this list. What are honey prices with uh, the uh, hard economy? And I can't see it on the list, so I'll have to look at it in a second. But yeah, we could do like, I don't know, that wouldn't be a bad spot for it. Where else could we put them? Put them along here. That wouldn't do anything for our our crops if they're over here. I mean, we could put some like hives around in here. Those are so, they're so expensive. Beehive elongated or and beehives there. Put them on top of the rocks. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Um, yeah, we could put them in here, maybe close to a field. Or you could put them along. It kind of makes sense to put them along the back of a field. So maybe we will do some small hives like back here. I kind of like the look of these. These look look half bad. Yeah, so maybe we'll put like, I don't know, we can do like there. And then maybe another one there and there. And that's that's three. That's that's plenty to start. Um, and then we can put in the twelve. This guy, the six by two. Now, where where do we want the honey to, to spawn? Probably somewhere more convenient than over there. So I am thinking somewhere in this area. We can always move this. This really isn't that big of a deal. But maybe do we own this land out here. Kind of hard to tell, but yeah, we might actually. Oh man, I don't know. Decisions, decisions is what we're at kind of right now. I might put them right there. Maybe like right next to this building. That's in, maybe like right there. Yep, there we go. All right, that'll work. Landscaping, we'll do a little bit of painting in here maybe. Get some painted up that way. Just kind of connect that up there. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit, maybe a little bit bigger there. Just make it you know, kind of seem like it all works and connects into our roads and what have us. There we go. I brought our fertilizer spreader back that we bought last episode. That's right there. I kind of like this, uh, like only a little bit smaller, but kind of like some of that kind of little detail in there. That completely destroyed that, but that's okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. Oh, there's this one. That kind of, I kind of like that one too. I don't want to spend a ton of money in landscaping over there. We're just making it look nice. We can make it look like nice later. Um, 
But yeah, I think I want to put a road that goes kind of around this way, and kind of hooks up to this field here. Um, I also may want to put more, I probably want to put another field in here. Um, I don't want this road to be here probably, but I'll probably put a road that kind of goes along here and then heads up to here. And then up here though, I think I want it to loop around the back and then kind of come up there. So I don't think it needs to hook up here. Maybe it'll just dead end here for now. Um, and then this area needs to be a field, I think, in between these two fields. But um, yeah, so that might be the plan. Now, as far as sheep goes, if we do some sheep, since we didn't take this some area for our beehives, we could do oh, 26 grand for that is so expensive. I might have to download those mods and see what we kind of want to go with from there. But uh, yeah, so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to maybe get some of the bales loaded up and stuff like that. But I'll bring you guys back in. We have, I mean, we probably recorded most of this episode for now, uh, but hopefully we can sell some stuff before we call it an episode. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys here in uh, just a bit. All right, welcome back in everyone. It has been a while. It is December 2. I have been monitoring prices and sales and all sorts of stuff, and I did buy one thing on sale, but it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Um, <laughs> we have 95,000 liters of straw here. We finally got a good price, which I'll show you here in a second. Let's get on a straightaway so I can let them keep driving. And then we're also going to sell our oats as well. I don't know how it's going to go getting them into the production facility, so we we'll, might have to do a little bit of uh, role play finagling, but we'll make it work. So... Um, all right, we'll have you drive. So I did, if we go into prices here, where are we at? Prices. Uh, straw hit 50, which it was in, in between 41 and 62, so I'm going to take it. Silage, I'm hoping to get at least, I'm hoping that goes above 200. I really want to get a good deal on the silage. And then uh, oats will sell at the 650, which is pretty good uh, for, yeah, that's, that's a good price for oats. For us getting the extra 10% at 650, we're going to get an extra 65 bucks. So um, that's like 705 for us, which is, I don't know how it says 532 to 805 is the range. 805 would be crazy to get that high of a range. But, uh, oh, and straw is going to, I'm assuming, yeah, farm shop. Okay. Yeah, we'll sell the straw off. We're not going to get very much for it. But we are low on cash because I did buy us a stone picker. You might ask why in the world did I do that. It was 60% off. I couldn't resist. It was $10,000, so I bought it. It's sitting up over there on the shop. It's one of the, it's one of those styles, so it's not great, but it'll do the trick. It help us get some stones out of the way. 250 bucks a bale, perfect. Let's get over to that. There we go. So yeah, we got a little bit. So yeah, I mean, almost five grand. That's definitely worth it, I think, for where we're at. Uh, we're getting killed by loan interest every day. I mean, it's not horrific, but it's it's still not great. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, we'll get a good we'll get a good amount from our harvest um, sale here. So we'll see how much we kind of made off our two fields. Um, honestly, silage is still our big money maker right now, uh, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, and the other thing too, which I'll show you here in a second, we have a new business in town, um, which I'll read off in a in a second here. Let me get over to uh, my screen so I actually can uh, read what I need to read about it. Oh, that was the wrong one. I'm probably crashing, aren't I? Uh, oh, thank goodness we didn't crash. Okay. All good, all good, all good. Let me scroll back down to what I want to read about it. Uh, where are we at? Here we are. Okay, perfect. All right, so now I have I have it listed over there. But yeah, so we have a new production facility, actually. It's over right next to the grain mill, so that's why I said we'll just take a look at it when we head over there um, with our grain. I'm hoping all of our grain will fit in our trailer. We have, what, 14,000 liters in storage, and then how much does our trailer hold? Um, up to 10,000. Oh, we're going to go all over the place here. Get back on the main track. And our grass isn't ready to, to harvest yet. I thought it was a little weird because it's been months. So hopefully we're ready soon. I kind of like the, how the weeds look in there. It just looks like the field, you know, it's kind of just been overgrown and waiting for stuff to happen. But uh, we'll just park this off over to the side for now. And then we might actually have to make two trips. I'm going to leave the front loader on there for now because it doesn't really matter right now. I know we're getting technically we're going to get it's a little bit of a maintenance requirement added to it, but that's fine. So I have to make two trips. We'll make at least we'll do at least one with you guys in. Yeah, we'll have to make two trips. It looks like oh max for weight. Holy smokes. Well, we're going to have to make three trips then. That's kind of funny. I forgot I had that installed. Uh, but we're definitely going to keep it. This is all about the challenge. So 5,400. Here we come. We're taking that up there. Max weight. 
Uh, so 5,400. So technically what we need to get paid. Well, what is that? Where is that uh, price at? Uh, Weedo's cereal production is not taken at for 650, but we're, we're getting 10% above that. So we're actually probably going to, it'll probably take it as a sell point. And then we'll just have to just subtract what we get and then we'll have to multiply out our own. Uh, so what we're going to get paid is, uh, well, 650 plus 65, the extra 10%. So 715 per thousand liters is what we're getting paid. I've locked in that price, so we should be good to go. Um, let me put it on one times probably for the speed. There we go. Uh, so 715 times 5.4, which is what we have, 5.4 thousand liters in here. So 3861 for this load. So that's not bad. Not bad. Can't complain too much about that. But yeah, we have... Okay, good. Yeah, we don't have three more loads, just two more loads. Yeah, we'll get this sold off with you guys in, and then I think we'll wrap up the episode there. So we're starting to work on getting our contracts done. Another contract is underway here. Uh, but yeah, so you can see over there, in the far back corner there, we have a sawmill that popped up over here, um, which is very cool. Let's get this sold off here, and then we'll go about our business. Let the way guy take a look at what we got going on. They document it, and then we go sell. Theoretically, they probably need a way station on the way out, or you'd have to come out this way, but anyhow, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's not giving us any cash for it. Oh, weird. Okay, well, we're going to give ourselves the cash for it then. Um, this isn't our production facilities. So we're not making any money anyways. Uh, we need to add 3861 for that load. Beautiful. Fantastic. Now, actually, one thing I do want to do before I forget to do it. Let's go uh, let's join that farm and go on their production. Um, this is going to be to distributing is fine because I don't want it to pop out anything yet. Let's do distributing. There's nowhere for these to go right now, so distributing should be fine. We'll set them all to distributing. But yeah, so cereal. So yeah, we're hopefully going to provide them with honey. Um, and then we might actually provide them with corn if we can, but we don't have a corn header, so it might be a little bit tricky. Uh, we'll see about getting them some corn and stuff like that. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just hop out and take a look at the sawmill real quick before we wrap up. So these uh, cement barriers are pretty cool. I don't know what mod it is, but I had it downloaded. I think someone sent it over to me, but these paint down like a fence. So you place these down like a fence and they're stuck like that. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, sawmill area. I like this guy. Can't go in there, right? Yeah, no, that'd be cool if you could. Back of it through here. Yeah, so a decent area for it. It's over here in our industrial area, which makes sense, so. There we go. We have another one. Now, this is owned by, before I forget, um, this is something that Russian Acorn sent in as a subscriber business. He said, my name is Hayden, and I'd like to open HH DeSisto LLC. I have a sawmill, and I'm constantly in need of logs. The wider and straighter, the better. Um, he said, in real life, he doesn't have a sawmill. He makes hay and grows pale, which is pretty cool. Uh, but he's going to buy property and a sawmill suit, which is also super cool. He's going to do that. Uh, so here we go. It says, love the series already, and thank you for your consideration. So Russian Acorns, here's your sawmill, my friend. Now, let's go ahead and rename this since we're on we should be able to rename this oh no it's not gonna let me do it um no we're on the right farm it should let us rename it oh that's gonna be so lame if it doesn't let us rename the large sawmill oh, that's so lame that it doesn't do that well we know what it's called anyways but uh there you guys go anyhow that's the end of this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post this has been farmer cop Thank you guys for coming and for watching.